Good morning traders. This is a chart analysis video. A subscriber of mine asked me to take a look at the SENS chart and I pulled it up, looked at the daily chart. It looked interesting. So I figured why not make a video? This is nothing that I'm telling you to invest in, to trade in, to watch or anything. That's up to you. Personally, I wouldn't be trading this just because it doesn't meet my float size criteria of 110 million shares or less. I'm a day trader. I tend to be in and out of trades in a matter of minutes. So I need volatility that low float stocks provide and this one is not one of those. The only exception would be if it popped up on the top gainers list in the number one volume spot, then I would put it on my watch list, not necessarily take a trade, only if the setup showed itself. So what we're looking at here is mostly the end of 2020, and then we'll move the chart along and see what's happening this year. But it's interesting because in the end of 2020, it pretty much traded sideways, except for back here. It tried to kind of break out through uh, to new highs. So it kind of established uh, resistance line here and then it broke that resistance on December 23rd and then on Christmas Eve December 24th it gapped up even further so this was kind of your first signal that something might happen on the following day you don't just because it pops out through this resistance doesn't mean it's going to gap up but it might and and then you know so if you're watching it that's a sign to really uh, keep a close eye on it then after Christmas Eve, it just kind of chopped around and into this consolidation period. So now this becomes a uh, support and then a new resistance is established really in this area. But we can just say for simplicity's sake, the top of these two candles roughly. So $1.20. So the next time it breaks out through that level is when it's showing strength or if it breaks down through this level, it's showing weakness. So let's move the chart along. After uh, January 14th, it gapped up against kind of the same exact move, but it didn't consolidate this time. I don't think. No, it just continued higher. So this this you know would have been really tough to predict if you were looking at this because these two candles kind of look the same. You see this uh, gap up, and then this one, and then a gap up. So you, if you were trying to use what happened in the past to predict the future, you would probably think that, okay, the next day it's going to consolidate, but it doesn't do that. And this is a great example of how these patterns don't always repeat themselves. So they can just give you an idea and then you should, you know, decide whether or not you want to take a trade and have a plan and stop loss. And then whatever happens, happens. Don't be surprised if what you think is going to happen doesn't happen. And that's what happened here. Uh, it broke out. So now it's kind of trending. And so there's no really support or resistance lines to draw here. You're just in a trend and now it's pulling back. And then I'm not a big fan of, of flags or drawing angled uh, trend lines, but there is something that's kind of obvious here. I'm just going to, going to point it out see if I can get that to drop. Uh, I guess I'll have to do this. I'm trying not to give it away. So I'll have to extend these in a second. All right. So if we extend these till these two lines touch again, these angled trend lines just do not mean as much as, uh, the horizontal support and resistance. So you might think, okay, if this thing breaks out, it's going to run up really high and then it does break out and then it just kind of goes sideways. But if you plan to, you know, you could plan a trade based off of this, where this is your stop loss say like the low of this candle or maybe even the low of this whole area. This is your stop loss. And then maybe here is your entry. Let's put a line out there. I'll make it blue for our entry so we don't get confused. And then you might plan like say maybe a two R stop. So that's about, let's see, 80 minus 13. So let's say 67 cents. So um, a dollar, so what is that? About a dollar 40 you need to see. So 280, 380, and that's about 420, interestingly enough. And here, so we'll just put a line out right now. Let's say you're, you're planning this trade as you go. I haven't actually looked at if this trade is going to work yet or not, but I'm just assuming, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be a good possible trade. And if it doesn't work, you know, hits your stop, not a huge loss. So let's go on and then it does, it does work. Okay. Yeah. And then it continues on higher. So this would have been a nice successful to our trade. So in this case, this, this worked out.
this little flag move. So now we're trending again, heading up a little bit of a pullback here. You got you would have gotten uh, stopped out at your profit target, so that could have been a successful trade. But again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of support and resistance to draw here. And then it kind of trends higher again. So maybe you might even say that this is another flag right here. If you're into these flags. I mean, these, these are kind of obvious here. All right, and then the, uh, the pole, the flag pole is right here. So something like that, these aren't drawn perfectly. And then it breaks out and shoots up higher again. So you could kind of do that same trade over again. I'm not, I don't think this one actually worked out though. Uh, maybe it did, let's see, let's take a look. We'll try this one. So here's now our new stop loss. The other thing we should be looking at is that, you know, did volume come in? So th there's not, the volume was, was big right back here. And then this is just kind of uh, what they call absorption when the price goes up without much volume. So that's not really a strong move, even though these trades worked out. Sometimes kind of weaker setups, you know, like low volume plays can work out, but you know, do you want to take them? But if you're just planning, if you're just planning your trade based on a, on the chart movement and the candlesticks, you know, that's okay too, as long as you have a well-defined plan and you stick to it. So now we're going to say, um, the entry is for the break of this daily candle. I'll point it out in just a second for the break of this daily candle right here. So we'll put it like about a cent above. So we'll say, um, let's say 350, we'll just round it up to uh, from 350 to $4. So we're looking for a dollar move. So it needs to hit $5 in order for the trade to work out to be a two to one risk to reward ratio. And, and $5 is about right there. So that would have been another successful to our trade. And then uh, if you want, I mean, you could kind of call this another bull flag back here, but this one is a lot weaker, kind of descends a lot more. You're waiting for the break of that and then it breaks down actually. So this one kind of breaks down and fails. Same thing over here, you know, you might be thinking, oh, maybe this will be another bull flag and then it just keeps continuing on the downside. So they don't always work, but um, you know, if you have a plan, I mean, if you, if you took those two trades and you want them, you should, probably should walk away after that or maybe after the uh, first failed, if you're, if you're continuing that bull flag pattern thing. So let's see, let me get rid of some of these lines that, that are just up here for the trade see if we can come up with some more support and resistance. Again, I don't normally do these flag patterns, but they just look so obvious on this chart. What I would do is look at it like this. So this is point A, B, and then here's C, and then enter for the break of this candle with your stop loss over here and get a nice little two hour trade that way. And then if you wanted to do it again, it works out again, but it's always riskier the second time around. And you can see it kind of does it again over here. Actually, you could start here, point A, B, C, and then it kind of uh, fakes, does a fake breakout there and then fails. Does it again over here, A, B, then this would be C, and then when it break, actually here's C, and then it breaks out and then fails. So every time you go back for that same pattern, it's kind of less likely to, to happen. So now finally, here is a, uh, consolidation pattern forming.
Let's get rid of this blue line because that was one of our entries. And there's not a whole lot. I guess right here you finally get a support level established by the bottom of these two candles. Actually, this no, this one's not that. It's a, it's an okay support level because you've got the bottom of these two candles, and then you have a couple of bottoms over here touching, and one over here. So pretty strong support level. Now, if it breaks down through that support level, the stock itself is not that strong. If it breaks out through this resistance level, there could be some strength there. And what happens is breaks down, so that level is no longer valid, really. So now that we're in a downtrend here, it's coming down near this more extreme level of support based off of the bottom of these two candles right here. So it came down near there, didn't touch. It's about 10 cents off of that level. So it may come down closer and tap before it comes back up, or it may um, break through this level. Now this is kind of becoming a resistance area here. I'm gonna turn that back to green. And we can get rid of this line because it doesn't really mean anything anymore because it broke that level. So pretty much this is where we're at right now. This is really the only thing meaningful on this chart at the moment. If it breaks out through this level, then there could be some strength there. And uh, But, uh, you know, if you get into a trade based off of that, make sure you have a plan. You know, where do you f define that the trade has failed? Is it when it breaks the low of these candles, when it breaks the low of this candle? That kind of thing, you know, figure out how much you could lose and, and how much you could gain and figure out what you're comfortable with. And that's really the way you should do it. Um, this is the 200 uh, MA line. And usually if the price is above the 200 MA line, the stock is still considered generally strong. It's still considered in an overall uptrend. So that is good news. So other than that, I think everything else is up to you to figure out and decide what you want to do. I, I think I've given you plenty to uh, go off of. And let me know if, if this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, hopefully I didn't ramble too much. But no matter what, if you go into a trade, always have a plan, always have a profit target and a stop loss and honor them no matter what. That way, if the trade does the opposite of what you think, you haven't blown your account in one trade or given back an entire month's profits in one trade. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about this, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.